You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar face. I have Athena Lavoie from the Chamber. Welcome back, Athena. Thank you, Mark. You guys do great work at Metro South Chamber. It's, uh, I've been involved with the Chamber close to, um, getting close to 25 years at this point. And uh, you just do wonderful things and good community events, good public service. You guys are a good partner. The business community is important. It is. To work with the city, the civic life, and everything. So in Brockton, Brockton is a multicultural city, okay, which brings me to your first event. There is a multicultural, well, it's easy for me to say, multicultural <laughs> business forum in after hours over at the perfect place, which is Freddie Fontaine's is, place, yes. over on the south side of Brockton, mm -hmm. West Bridgewater Line, Thursday the 22nd. Tell us about that. Yeah, so it's a great event. It's sort of uh, like a business after hours that we would normally have, where there's plenty of networking for businesses, for members of the chamber, but it's also open to members of the community. Um, it'll begin with a resource fair, so we'll have lots of partners of the chamber, like SCORE uh, mentors for business counseling. We'll have the SBA there. We'll have um, Seed Corporation there and plenty of others. Um, the Brockton NAACP will be there. Um, so a lot of different resources and organizations that will be participating in an, an expo um, so that as people are networking, they can walk around, take some information. We're encouraging members of the community to come, especially if you're you know, an entrepreneur in the area, you either are just starting a business in Metro South or you're looking to, this is going to be a great place to walk around, gather some information, and make some great contacts. Um, in addition, we're going to have a panel. Mm -hmm. So um, the event's 5 to 7.30. At about 5.30, we'll have a business panel where we've invited three um, different business owners in the area to come and speak about their experience um, having a business here, what helped them um, get started, and mm -hmm. we're hoping that it'll help others that are in the crowd. Cool. And um, we're going to be there, but you better go. You better go. Because there's food too, right? There is food. There's always food at a chamber. Right? There's always food, yeah. And we're lucky to have um, Fred at the Perfect Place is going to um, be doing the food. Um, there's also a cash bar available. Um, mm -hmm. the, the space is amazing. So they do a lot of different events. They do everything from, you know, baby showers to birthday parties to corporate events and meetings. So um, we're happy to show off their space. Uh, and we'll also have dessert from Peppercorns Catering in Stoughton. And what better place to go to for entrepreneurship than a person who's been an entrepreneur in Brockton? Exactly. Fred owns a lot of businesses. He helped people when he was in the mayor's office to relocate here and get the businesses up and going. So I think it's great that it's at his place. Yeah, he's his perfect. Place. He's a great representative um, for this event and he actually was on our panel last year. So we'll have all new panelists this year, but he'll still be there, um, you know, helping to facilitate the networking. So besides multicultural business and business in general, um, people that uh, regulate business and deal with business are our legislators. That's right. Okay, you guys have a legislative day. Yes, our legislative luncheon um, mm -hmm. will be held at Bridgewater State University this year. Um, we hold it every year, usually every spring, um, and it's uh, either at Massasoit or at Bridgewater. This year it's at Bridgewater. So we're excited to be back there, and um, we'll have a program featuring House Speaker DeLeo. Mm -hmm. He'll be uh, speaking as well as Mayor Carpenter. He'll be doing an update uh, for the city as well. And that's on March 20th? That's on March 20th, and yep. that's a luncheon? It's a luncheon. So it runs 12 to 1.30 with registration starting at 11.30. Now that's usually packed. So that one yes. I would tell people to get in touch with you pretty shortly. So it, even though it's March 20th yes. and we're not yet at February 20th at the moment, <laughs> you want to get your ticket so you might be left out. Absolutely, yeah. And there are tables available if there are any businesses that want to get a table um, for their staff. So all the information's on our website and they can register online. Tell us the website. So they can go to metrosouthchamber.com okay. and go to our events page and they'll see uh, the legislative luncheon and all of the other events that we have coming up. And you can see all of these events and all this information besides just on the website. You have the action report, which is on the website as a PDF. Yes. Or the first Tuesday of the month, it's in the Enterprise. Correct. Newspaper. That's where I usually see it. And then I, because that's the larger print edition. Yeah. I can't read <laughs> the smaller one anymore. But um, it's on there. And just a good old fashioned phone number at the chamber if people want to get in touch with you or. Yeah, or so anybody. we're at 508 586 0500. Okay. And if you're looking to register for an event, uh, you can dial 231 and you'll have my extension and we'll get you registered. There you go. Okay. Um, Taste of Metro South, a little different this year. The legislative luncheon is on the 20th. Yeah. So when I check my calendar, it's usually the third Wednesday in March. That's the day after this. So we're not doing that. We're That's going right. into April. 
We're, get, we're flipping it a little bit this okay. year. So we'll have the legislative luncheon in March, which means our taste will be in April. Um, hopefully that will mean, hopefully, that we have uh, better weather. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's beautiful in March, but you never know. So right. um, we're hoping that it'll just get us ready for spring and get out there and try some new restaurants and some of our old favorites. Tuesday, April 24th. It's a Correct. Tuesday. It's not a Wednesday. That's People right. Have it's to a know Tuesday that. this year, yes. And I'm going to make sure they don't have a school committee meeting for Southeastern on that day so I can be there. That's our favorite event all year. Yeah. They, everybody says, I I don't want to work, but I do want to work, and we have fun. <laughs> Jay is the, the ringmaster of the whole mm -hmm. thing, and uh, we go there. And, and it's back at the Shaw Center. This back year. at the Shaw Center. Okay. Yep, and we're expecting, again, about 50 restaurants in the area. Um, restaurants can contact us if they're interested in getting involved. Um, it's free for restaurants to participate. All they need to do is supply the food samples. And you do have like nonprofit tables there. We do. So people can promote themselves. I know Brockton Day Nursery and folks have been yes. there. The band, usually Vinnie McCrina mm -hmm. brings the, the, the high school band. We have students that do culinary that are part of that. Hopefully yes. our school will be. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to go all the way to May. You got you, the date for your small business awards. We do. So uh, May 16th uh, at the Massasoit Conference Center will be our small business awards. Um, that also has a small expo component so businesses can come and exhibit. And then we we have a lunch that will be starting at 12. Um, and of course, we award our Small Business of the Year and our Entrepreneur of the Year. Mm -hmm. um, and people can go onto our website and check out the nomination forms there. If you have a small business, um, it doesn't have to be Brockton, Metro South area. Mm -hmm. um, if there's someone that you think is deserving that's a small business, uh, and if they're either brand new or maybe they're a little bit on the smaller side, then you can do Entrepreneur of the Year as well. That's great, and uh, that's a nice event and ceremony. And then in June, we won't do that date yet. We'll bring you back because we're going to re-promote probably the taste again and, and yeah. even the Small Business Awards. You'll do the Athena Rewards in June and kind of round out the Yes, year. that will be in June, and we'll have nominations for that on our website too. Now, you have some new staff. There are two new members over there that just, I know Allison Van Dam left, and she got another job, but who are the new staffers? So we have uh, our new communications coordinator. Her name's Emma Stratton. She's a um, Bridgewater State grad. Mm -hmm. um, we're really happy to have her. She's jumped on board right after graduating uh, or finishing her classes, and she's doing an excellent job. Um, she put out the last action report that was in the Enterprise for February and she's, she's doing a great job. Um, and then we also have just new um, this past week, um, uh, our new vice president, her name is Kelly Thompson-Clark. She has a ton of um, chamber experience uh, in really up and down the, the Northeast Coast. So we're happy to have her and her experience. To round out the team, the good that's team right. that's over yes. there. Well, thank you. So just to recap, Multicultural Business Forum on Thursday the 22nd, Legislative Luncheon on March 20th, at Bridgewater State. First one was at the Perfect Place. Taste of Metro South, Shaw's Center, April 24th, and Small Business Awards at Massasoit Conference Center on May 16th. So put all those dates in your calendar, mark them, because you won't want to miss them. Thanks for being here. Thanks so much, Mark. Appreciate it. And we're always there. We will be uh, bringing you sights and sounds from the Chamber of Commerce. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions. And we're up.